Good afternoon. You join me at AG Motorhomes, where I'm just going to give you a short demonstration on a new model Swift with an EC600 stroke EC400 Sergeant unit of just what to do when you've finished using your motorhome and you've parked it up at home or in your storage compound when you're not going to be using your motorhome, probably over if you're leaving it for any longer than two weeks. So you need to come over to your EC600 unit. So as you can see at the moment, everything is turned on. Um, with your outside 230 hookup on the outside giving you 230 mains power. So if you're not going to be using your motorhome for longer than two weeks, I strongly suggest um, that you use a system shutdown. Now, by turning the system shutdown button off, that will stop any drain inside the leisure uh, vehicle draining your leisure battery. Now, if your uh, motorhome has a solar panel, I would suggest between maybe the months of March and September, I would leave your system shut down turned on. So it's still in this section without the mains hookup because your solar panel will charge your leisure battery. But you must have this system turned on for your solar panel to do that. If you don't have a solar panel on your uh, motorhome, I would suggest that if you're not going to use it for longer than two weeks, you just press the system shutdown button and you'll get a little beep when you turn it off. And then you'd take out your 230 socket and all these lights would turn off. And then your vehicle, this unit, there'd be no lights on at all once you've taken your 230 hookup out. And then your vehicle is what I call in system shutdown. So nothing can start draining your leisure battery. But I would recommend, certainly if you've got it on your drive or you're close to where you store it, is every month just pop your 230 back in into the um, side of your motorhome, turn the unit back on, make sure your charger is turned on so you've got a green light and just leave it on charge for 24, 36 hours just to re-top up the, uh, your, your leisure battery to stop it dropping below 10 volts. That just will con condition your leisure battery and, and give it a bit of a longer life. And when once you've finished charging, Turn you, your charger off, your system shut down off, take the 230 lead out and the, the system will go into system shutdown. It's not really good practice to leave your sergeant board on and your 230 hooked up and charging all the time. It has got a smart charger, but you, you do run the risk of uh, overcharging your leisure battery uh, and the technical term is to boil it and then you're into buying a new leisure battery. I hope this helps, uh, and if you do have any questions, please come down and see us at AEG Motones. Thank you for watching.